Okay, right, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to pass the road test for the uh, DMV. Okay, so if you follow these instructions, you should be able to pass the test when you go to the DMV. All right, number one, adjust your chair so that it's not too far, not too uh, close. You might wanna be pressing on the clutch using the bottom of your feet, like almost as if you grab it, all right? And the proper uh, grip. You don't wanna overtake the transmission. You use maybe a finger grip for the ones in the back, right? Release the clutch a little bit to help it, right? And a softer grip for the ones on the front, right? So release the clutch a little bit, it doesn't wanna go in. Um, and I'm gonna drive exactly the way the DMV wants you to drive. So you're gonna be looking at the front when we're turning and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna be taking off on third and it's aligned with this, um, I guess, uh, bottle holder right here. So third, clutch ready to go, waiting for the light. Light changes, so I'm ready to go. Release the clutch slowly, take off slow every single time. They're not gonna penalize you for taking off slow. They will fail you if you take off fast and you kill the engine. So again, take off slowly. Have the clutch ready to go, so when the light changes, you can go, you know, slower or slowly, slow enough where you don't kill the engine. So, there we go. As you can see, it took off really nice and smooth. From here, I accelerate a little bit, and then I go into my fourth gear, and I do a traffic check every time. Fifth, traffic check, bam, bam, switch it up. Sixth, traffic check again. I wanna make a left, so I gotta make sure that my second axle passes the middle lane. And then turn, two hands on the wheel, check my trailer once from here, check my trailer twice all the way from here, and check my two mirrors. So three uh, traffic checks. Got it on six, go to seventh, soft grip. I have pushed the accelerator. I'm looking at least at three quarters of a mile ahead of me so that I can plan for it. So three quarters of a mile, I can see there is a posted sign for a school, so I gotta prepare for that. All right, so I go into nine, traffic check, traffic check, traffic check, traffic check. They can penalize you 22 times just on traffic checks. Traffic check, traffic check, traffic check, hands on the wheel. I'm coming to the uh, school zone, so I'm gonna drop my speed to match the required 25 uh, miles per hour. So I go slow, and then I continue moving. As you can see, I'm not touching my speed up, my gear selector because I'm empty. Nothing's gonna happen. I might shake a little bit, but it's okay. So again, traffic check, traffic check, traffic check. I pass the uh, school zone, 40 miles an hour, so I, I accelerate. You know, boom, 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 I accelerate. The, the examiner is asking me to make a lift, so it's on red, so I'm gonna be braking only. Brake, 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 brake. Select my signal. Brake, 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 and then clutch and brake when you're about 70 feet away from, from the light. I come to a full stop. I did not downshift right here. I, I go to third, clutch ready to go, traffic check, traffic check, traffic check, and my two mirrors. Clutch is ready to go. I already showed them that I did my traffic check. As soon as I take off, I'm not going to fourth and maybe even fifth, and I'm gonna take the, the uh, turn slow. So remember, plan for it. Take off slow. You gotta grab the second lane to the right. And um, hand two hands on the wheel. If the light changes to yellow, remember to honk. Otherwise, it's a, it's a fail. So uh, so planning, right? I already looked ahead and there's nothing blocking. There's not a broken down vehicle, a pedestrian, a cyclist, anything like that. So I'm just waiting for the light to change with my clutch ready to go. I gotta remember, remind myself to take off slow so I don't kill the engine. So I got a plan. Got it on third, take off slow, go to fourth, go to fifth, switch, and then hands on the wheel. So uh, hopefully the light changes soon enough there. So I take off slowly. As you can see, there is no hurry. Slowly, boom. Then I go into fourth, boom. I go into fifth, switch, hands on the wheel. Check my trailer from here to there. Check my trailer again from here to there. Check my two mirrors. Go into six, hands on the wheel. And then I'm looking at my traffic checks again. It's yellow, 
I'm not gonna downshift again. As long as you don't stop in neutral, you're okay. Our downshifting will be uh, something that we'll speak about later, but right now, upshifting. So I came to a full stop with the gear in place, flip it down, and then I got a third again, clutch ready to go, traffic check, traffic check, traffic check, and it's a repetitive motion. Got a third, and be ready to take off slowly again, and then four, fifth, switch, and we continue moving. So, uh, that's critical. Your traffic checks and your planning. Nothing going on. So a quarter of a mile ahead and it's free and it's clear. Again, I take off slowly, light changed, no hurry, boom. I go to fourth, bam, traffic check. Go to fifth, bam, traffic check. I go to sixth, boom, again, traffic check. I go to seventh, traffic check. So every time you're switching gears, do a traffic check. Again, I'm on, I'm on eight, traffic check, traffic check, traffic check. So I'm showing the examiner that I'm fully aware of my surroundings, that I'm keeping an eye on what's going on. I'm not done shifting. So brake, 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 clutch and brake. Again, flip it down, go to turn right away, boom, uh, light change, change to green, patiently work my way to fourth, traffic check, fifth, traffic check, sixth, traffic check, Seven, traffic check. So there's no way they're gonna get me by traffic checks. Again, traffic check. I'm gonna make it right at the light. I continue to do my traffic checks. I'm, I'm, I got good speed. And I'm gonna select my signal to make a right. This is at 35 miles an hour. I was going at 30, so I'm good. I'm keeping an eye on my posted signs, keeping an eye on my speed limits. And again, I, keep, I kept it in gear. I had it on eight. I push my brake and my clutch, flip it down, go to third, clutch ready to go, and I'm looking to see when, what I need to do. I'm gonna make a right. So I'm gonna choose the second lane into the first when I make a right. I got enough room here to go all the way to maybe even fifth or fourth, depending on, on my choice. So you'll see it right now. So I'm gonna take off on third, and, uh, and you'll see the transition. Again, taking off slow is key. A lot of people fail because they release the clutch too fast or they over accelerate and then they kill the engine or the truck is bouncing or, or jumping. So I release my clutch slowly. It's a heavy truck, so I don't want to go too fast. Right there, go to fourth, boom, go to fifth, bam, two hands on the wheel. And I'm going to check my trailer three times. Again, I'm going to grab the second lane. So right there, second lane into my first lane. I'm keeping an eye on my trailer. And then I'm gonna go into, into six, traffic check. Seven, traffic checks, bam, bam, bam. Slowly, boom. And then eight, traffic check. Traffic check, traffic check, traffic check. It's a pedestrian here, so I'm, I'm showing the examiner that I'm fully aware. 35 miles an hour, so I try to get, I'm gonna try to get it up to 30 at least. Which I do, I have it at 32 miles an hour, traffic check. It's red, if it changes to green, I'm gonna have to downshift, but it didn't, so I'm gonna press my clutch, and then I'm gonna come to a full stop. I can still see the tires, I still see the tires right here. I come to a neutral, third, I, I choose third, release my clutch a little bit to help it go in, and my clutch is ready to go. One, two, three, and my two meters for my traffic checks, I'm good to go change to green, I start moving slowly again. Remember, take off slowly and repetitive. Fourth, traffic check. Fifth, switch, traffic check. Sixth, traffic check. Seven, just traffic check. No hurry, just work your way through the process. There is no way we can keep up with these guys. They, they're too light. You, you got a trailer, you got too much weight. So again, traffic check, traffic check. I'm keeping an eye a quarter of a mile ahead. It's telling me there is a light, so I gotta keep an eye out for that. I see that it's on red, so I gotta prepare for that. I also see there is a school zone, so I'm keeping an eye on the signs. Change to green, but I gotta keep in mind there is a school zone, so I gotta slow down, show them that I'm aware of that. Okay, so 
Traffic check, traffic check. I still have it online. I'm gonna keep it there because I can. It's at 30 miles an hour, so I'm okay. And I'm slowing down right here, keeping an eye on the school zone. I'm looking for children. I'm looking for people crossing. There's nothing, but you can see that I'm being safe. So I keep moving, it's on red, and uh, I'm not gonna dodge it. It's not necessary unless it goes to green for the DMV. So I press my clutch, it now changed to green. I have it on night, I look at my speedometer, and I choose my proper gear. In this case, uh, it's a, a little bit under 15 miles an hour. I, I'm pati I patiently search for six, select it, continue moving. So that's your downshift. Whenever the light changes, you, you choose the proper gear by looking at the speedometer. If it's 15, you're going to six. Or a little bit under 15, you're going to six. If it's 15 or more, seven. And then eight for 25, nine for 35, 10 for 45. I'm gonna switch lanes to the left. I select it and I check twice, no less than that. So I check it twice. I see that the uh, this guy is uh, giving me a chance, hopefully, to switch lanes, and then I move. As you can see, I'm being cautious. I want to show them that I'm being careful. And uh, right here, there is not enough room, but they're asking me to make a left, so I can either cross the yellow line or, you know, want to be sticking out a little bit, but that's okay if they're asking you. Again, go to third, because I came to almost to a full stop. It's green, but I'm not in a hurry. I mean, if the light changes, I'll stop like it did, right? So I'm gonna just get to the uh, intersection here. And and again, clutch and brake, clutch and brake, neutral, go to third, traffic check, traffic check, traffic check, two mirrors, clutch ready to go. It's a repetitive motion. There is no mystery. You're gonna be repeating it every single time, so. Um, so I'm just waiting for the uh, light to change. I got it on third. I'm preparing to make a left. I'm gonna grab the second lane, and, uh, and there's nothing going on on that side. So you can see that I'm fully aware. So if the light changes to yellow, I'll honk. And I'm probably gonna go all the way through fifth. So I'm gonna take off on third, go to fourth, and then right after that, go to fifth and switch it. A lot of people forget to do the switch and then they can't find six, obviously because they never lift the switch up or sometimes when they're taking off, they forget to flip it down. So remember, put, tie a little uh, something to your finger to remind you to flip the switch down or flip the switch up, whatever you need to do to remind yourself of that. So I'm waiting, nothing we can do other than just wait, be ready. And it's important that you remain relaxed. The more relaxed you are, it's gonna transfer to the driving. So just relax. If you can't find the gear, just work your way to. If, let's say you try to go into, into the gear, doesn't wanna go in, go to the higher one. So right now, I take off on fourth, third, boom, fourth, and then I go into fifth, switch, hands on the wheel, keep an eye on my trailer, keep an eye on my trailer, keep an eye on my trailer, at least three times my mirrors, I go into six, and I'm now I'm fully straight, that's where my attention is at. I'm tra traffic checks, traffic checks, traffic checks. Right here, again, clutch and brake. You can press the clutch for up to 70 feet, or one uh, second for every 10 feet. So right here, I go into third, clutch ready to go, traffic check, traffic check, traffic check, hands on the wheel so there's nothing ahead of me so I'm just gonna go nice and straight I'm gonna go on the freeway which is the DMV is gonna have you go on the freeway as well and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that too so right now repetition remind yourself I gotta take off slow light changed take off slow slowly Ooh, right there go to four check traffic go to fifth Check traffic, go to six, check traffic, I'm gonna switch lanes, check twice, check twice, good, now I'm gonna go to seven, boom, traffic check, traffic check, and I'm gonna go to eight, traffic check, traffic check, I see some cones, which means automatically
automatically you gotta slow down. There might be construction or something. If it's a school zone, if it's a construction zone, you gotta drop your speed. So I'm fully aware of that and letting them know by the way that I that I am acting. Um, so again, traffic check, traffic check. And I guess we're not gonna be able to go into this freeway because the ramp is closed. to go around so again I came to a full stop with the gear in place I had it on eight release it go into third and uh, wait for the uh, for the light clutch ready to go hands on the wheel and we'll continue so, so again clutch slowly and Again, slowly. I'm gonna switch lanes to go down this road. So we haven't seen how to do a right lane. Well, we did one. So here, go to slow down. No need to hurry to take your, your turn. Go slow. I'm, I'm probably about seven miles an hour. Slowly, slowly. Checking my trailer, checking my trailer. Then accelerate. Seven. Checking my traffic. Then nine. Hands on the wheel. We're getting up to speed. And then 45, 10. Hands on the wheel. Traffic check, traffic check. Don't release your wheel. Sometimes I'm talking too much and I speak with my hands. See, I'm not killing the engine, you see? And I'm not rolling back, right? So it's all clutch control right there. It's moving nice and smooth. I come to a full stop again, and I'm gonna not let it go roll back. Clutch is about ready to, to move. You can feel it when it's about to start moving, right? So right there, no rollback. I'm holding it, and I'm gonna move up, so you can see. I'm not killing the engine, and I'm not rolling back. I'm using the muscle of my leg to hold it in place. So I release it. I don't need gas, as you can see. So the guy sometimes release the clutch and over accelerating. The truck is jumping up and down. I'm not even using any fuel at all right there. So again, I'm going to release the clutch slowly and start moving. See, no, no gas. I can take it all the way to a stop like this. Again, I press the clutch. I'm going to release the clutch slowly. You see right there? No big deal whatsoever. Clutch control right there. Clutch control. See? It's not rolling back. It just continue to move. You see? And it's not killing the engine. But you got to use the muzzle. Don't release it to all the way. Because gonna. if I want to let it go, I can't. I, as you can see, I'm not using any pedals. So it's all about your clutch control. So you can practice that at the yard. Release the clutch slowly right there 
clutch release, clutch release. You see how much of a gap? Very little, but this much. Very little. That's where the control is. You see it? Right there. No rollbacks, no killing the engine. Alright, so enough of that. I'm gonna accelerate a little bit on third. I continue to move. I can do this if I want to go to on third. I can do this. Or I can go to fourth. If you're feeling secure, just go take it on third. Just keep moving. Go to the stop. Bam. Release the three seconds. Boom, boom, boom. And then we continue moving. Again, I take the second lane into the first. Bam. soft grip you see it right there I'll do it again I need to go to seven okay boost going to seven see it let's say I need to go to six no right there I'm gonna go finger and then switch finger see accelerate it goes in no issue it takes no skill so accelerate and then guide it I'm not forcing it two fingers seven I'm using this little grip, pushing it with this finger. Boom, eight, neutral, and then finger. Guide it. So every gear, use a soft grip. Number nine, finger, soft grip, push, and, and, and put it in. And for nine. Usually as far as you're gonna go on the strip, and push the accelerator. Boom. Then you go to eight because the light changed on neutral. So I'm gonna match the speed for eight. In this case, uh, maybe 25, 30, right there, 30 miles an hour. Boosted, soft grip, eight. Do you see it? Boosted, soft grip, boom. So boosted, soft grip. See it? I'm gonna go to nine, so. When I'm at 35 miles an hour, I'll put it in neutral. Boom, neutral. How do I go into tonight? Finger, soft grip, soft grip. Boost, up. When I go to 10, clutch neutral, boost, 10. And again, if it's complaining a little bit, it's okay, but don't force it. That's as much as I can explain to you guys right now. So hopefully you got something, right? 